Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. What an absolutely lovely afternoon for some twisty action. <laughs> so, so right along, while I go through the uh, thoughts that's rattling about in my head, and uh, <laughs> and I'll share a bit of a funny story about uh, the sisters' cat. God love them. In fact, tell you what, let's kick off with a funny story. So, the uh, sister has a, a cat. It's a, it's a, originally, he's an outside cat. His name's Garfield, but I call him the ginger. He is, he's pure ginger. And for the best part of 11, 12 years, he was he was the master of his own empire. A, a true hunter. Only came in when the weather was really, really bad. Or he just wanted to light the fire. But uh, at some point last year, Whatever happened to the fella, he got badly injured. And by all accounts, he lay in a hedge for the best part of five weeks, and we all thought he was dead. And of course, lo and behold, the, uh, the hardened fellow that he is managed to make his way back to the sister's house. So, good. that's a hell of a cat. That's a hell of a fighter, by the way. So, anywho, you know, that's it. That was the end of his out, uh, outdoor days because he was uh, traumatised and whatnot. But, uh, well, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a happy ending. So that was it. He became the, the indoor cat. Anywho, long story short, when the sister goes to work, she throws the cat down to myself to look after him. For she, she does the old 12-hour shifts and whatnot. So, And of course, me being fucking me, a buggered old bloke looking after a buggered old cat, I have this fella spoiled fucking rotten. <laughs> I mean, I am his butler and it's off my own accord, it's my own fucking doing for a half of sport. I say that, folks. I was as bad with the herd as what I am with the cat. For I swear to them, rotten and all, and they all knew. They all knew it was a soft touch. But anyway, <laughs> so uh, a couple of days ago, the sister comes to lift him after her uh, four-day ro rotation, and uh, I comes walking through the door, and the cat. At my heel, as he always does, for as soon as I move, he moves for a stick. I am the feeding machine. Of course, he took st <laughs> he took one look at the sister, turned and ran back to the <laughs> the room because he knew rightly he was on he was for the off. And I just I could not believe this fella. Looks at his owner, runs because he knew he was losing the soft touch. I mean, what a cat! What an absolute legend! Is it? So that's, uh, if I remember, I'll try and put a, if I can figure it out, how to put a box in the freaking video thing, I'll do that. If not, it's, uh, it's a red, it's a ginger cat, full story. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> getting back to what was actually on my mind. So I had to share that, folks, for honest to God. Imagine your owner stood there and your lifelong pet walking through the door, looking at you and legging it because he knew he was going to lose the butler. <laughs> oh, but like I was saying, where was it anyway? Uh, getting back to what was uh, really, uh, really going through the noodle. Oh, great, they've been spreading. Shh, caca. Oh, well. Slow and steady it is. So, getting ready for the off. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it until 6th of September to head into Portugal just to miss the kids in the back and try and catch the back end of the tour season. Anyway, what was on my mind was. Do I navigate with the phone or do I spend stupid money and I know I could get a lesser one but if I'm going to buy a brand new Garmin I'm going to buy the X2 because you know there'll be good resale value if we ever freaking uh, come together up and by all accounts this thing's uh, quite good. So I was zooming an arm whether to use the phone as a navigation system which it's more than capable of doing and it's always it's always sat there in front of me but uh, I or install the uh, the X2 on the screen with the Evo Tech brace and stuff and whatnot and what I was thinking of you see 
and you, can, you all can relate to this your phone is these days is an extension of everything you own for a lot of i mean i don't personally but a lot of folk a lot of folk have these things linked to their bank uh who's you been flipped bank accounts you know and pay with the phones and all that sort of jazz i don't for a, i'm a tech moron really, <laughs> really am. But I was sat there the other night and I was footering about with something on, uh, I think it was Amazon or eBay or something like that there. Oh, obviously, oh, he's a moped, never mind. I was going to say he was, he's not an order, but he's, uh, he, he's riding a moped. I, I could have been away here, but here, I'm talking to you lot, so I just slow and steady it is for the day. And uh, what was it? Footering on Amazon or eBay. And uh, because I hadn't uh, eBay, because I'd forgotten something, no, it wasn't eBay. Anyway, I don't care. It was something. But they sent they, they sent me uh, an authorization code to the mobile. So oh, that was all I'm wearing good, and I'd forgotten about that. And then I was in the, me uh, me email, and because I'd uh, ordered something or something, they, they just wanted auth 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 authentication. That's not even the word, is it? I don't know what the word is. You you lot know. So <laughs> auth no, I'm not no, bollocks. Not this time of day. Anyway. So as another uh, another format required another form of uh, of uh, ID. So they sent uh, they sent a six digit code to the phone, which was all well and good. A couple of days later, I'm footering the blah 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 blah. Another uh, six digit uh, number came through for something else, and I suddenly realised. I thought, here, if I'm using my mobile phone as a navigation system. And something goes wrong with the quad mount, or I forget to lift it, or something. Do somebody grabs it off the bike? I'm absolutely buggered, for I couldn't get into my email or my eBay or my Google or my Amazon because for them to send, they have to send that emergency code to your phone. So that was it. I thought, well, Jimmy George. <laughs> If I lose the phone, I'm absolutely up Shizzle Creek without the uh, paddly thing. That shouldn't be allowed. That's far too young to be dressed like that. Good God of Almighty. Oh, absolutely disgusting. Anyway, I'm getting old. I <laughs> really am. Oh, steady, lad, steady. So, aye, so I'd be absolutely up Shizzle Creek without the uh, Shizzly Babble. So, uh, so that was, you know, that's, that's, that's the mind made up. In <laughs> fact, there you go. Straight off the press, ladies and gentlemen. I've just made up the mind. We're going to go for the uh, the Zoom OX2. For eventually, I, I could, you can link that, link that, not that I'll ever be doing group rides for, let's face it. Social anxiety on a group ride is never going to happen. So yeah, so that was, uh, that was what was bounding about in my head for a couple of days was... Uh, Weighing up the pros and cons of uh, sticking with the phone for navigation. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Even if you say that, even if you had an old phone, folks, that would do the job. But I don't. For I, uh, I traded on all the old phones when I upgraded to this one. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Just so I concentrate on what I'm doing for uh, for the roads are all gravelly and whatnot this year. Well, you have to wave to the fellow bikers, like you know. So <laughs> that was a, that was a, that was a nice bobber, that uh, military green tank. Oh, lovely, lovely. So I like I was saying, folks, that's what was uh, bounding about in my noodle. Uh, no, it wasn't. I was saying if you had an old phone, that would do the job. Yes, if you had an old phone, you could navigate away off that. For there's nothing wrong with uh, Google Maps when it comes to the basics, but for that slightly bit more in depth. You really want something like the uh, the Zoom OX2. So there you go. I just thought I would share that with you lot. <laughs> Caring, sharing fella that I am. Like you know, oh, tw oh ah, of course the twisties a bit mud on. Yeah, fucking like uh, oh, less whinging, too nice a day to be whinging. <laughs> So there you go, that was my thoughts for this week. Funny story about the sister's cat and uh, sharing the thoughts on the uh, the navigation system. So, I think I shall uh, leave it there for this week. Uh, 
and uh, yeah as always folks get out enjoy yourself be safe have fun and all the rest of the shenanigans that go with it but as always there is no point listening to me for I'm just that buggered old bloke on the bike hang on Right, I shall try that again because the wind, I'm sure that wind noise was freaking lovely. So like I was saying, there's no point asking me for I am just that buggered old bloke on the bike. And until next time folks, doodaloo. Oh here, I'll leave you some uh, country roads and some tunes as always there. So, till next time, doodly pips. <laughs>